Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So we are on episode four of P Valley. We are finally caught up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Listen, y'all. I sit up here and I write notes. I just write rough notes because I don't I don't like the I don't like the whole scripted talk type thing. That's weird. I just like to I like to kick it from the cuff. But I write notes as I'm watching these shows to keep me on track. Y'all can't see. But I have a prediction here. At the bottom of the page, I have a prediction. This is when I made it to the end of the episode, right? I'd be damned if at the bottom of this page, I said I predict Patrice is going to take that money and start her own church. That was my prediction. And I'd be damned if by the time we got to the end of the episode, Patrice then take that money and start her own church. You know what? Let's just get into this thing. Okay, so we start with weirdo number one. What's up with freckles? Like... I was like, what? what is this? This is some, I, what is that called? I just learned a new term, mict, mictow or micto, whatever it is. Uh, them red pill extremists, you know, that hate women and hate themselves and are crybabies and don't know how to interact with the opposite sex. So they make excuses as to why they've been hurt in life. Anyway, I was like, oh, they must have sent their representative to the club, to the pink, because old boy Freckles as soon as they start the episode, he's sitting up there whispering in this girl's ear about how much she's trash and all this other stuff. And this fool's sitting there letting him. I was like, what is wrong with Mississippi? Something is going on with her. I don't know what Derek done did to her, but Derek done got in her brain. And come to find out, Derek is a white man. I'm here for it. I love me a good relationship if it's a relationship that's good. I don't care about, about the color. I don't care about gender. I don't care about what you do. As long as you have a good, healthy relationship, I'm all for it. But uh, Derek, the man who's been blacking her eye and bruising her all up, it just so happens to be a white man, a very attractive white man, too. I was like, oh, so she dating a white boy. Okay, that's the baby daddy. Got it. Um, so Freckles is in there, and of course, Diamond swoops in, and now y'all see Diamond is so fine. It's like every video I come on, I'm missing more and more pieces. I have more and more braids hanging out of the, you know what? This is my last one, then I'm gonna get this video done because I'm tired of click clacking all night. But anyway, let's keep back on task. So we got the red pill freckles talking about to diamond jump if you gonna jump a diamond so whoop swoop lifted them right up game over. So I thought that was the perfect response for somebody like him. Like why you even come to the club if all you wanna do is sit up there? And you don't like women. You don't like women, but you here to degrade. Like that gets you. That's some type of gratification. You get excited about talking down to people. Anyway, we move on to Miss Autumn. She's in the house. I'm sitting up here thinking, okay, so now she's about to you know start her sober living journey is that where we going no she's putting the money inside of the tub and the top the grout on the walls is just nasty i was like oh i know she ain't never sitting in that tub the tub was disgusting anyway she puts the money inside the tub and she's pouring alcohol on the tub can somebody please drop down in the comment section below and tell me what the significance of that was because she's not cleaning the money because it still has the same serial numbers so i'm not understanding what she's doing why would you want the money to look gritty and grimy you know what? As I'm talking to y'all, I'm thinking it through. Maybe she didn't want the girl at the bank to know that it was, you know, fresh money because she just got... Because I'm like, they can still track the money. I don't understand what she's doing. When you launder, I mean, I might not know nothing, but I may have heard a thing or two. But when you launder, it's about mixing in the old with the new so that the numbers, you know, the number anyway um that's not how you launder so i'm not understanding why she did it but i think that's what it was maybe she didn't want them to be like where'd she get all these fresh bills from she had to make it look like it came from the club lo and behold old girl then switched up her wigs and switched up her personalities and went inside these little uh check cashing places nine 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 so according to my math that is twenty seven thousand so i know last episode i said nine thousand is not a lot of money that's that's pennies but now she has twenty seven thousand because i seen her do that nine three times in a row so now she got a little bit of change i'm like okay where is this twenty seven thousand coming from and she keeps doing nine so does that mean there's some type of federal thing going on to where if it's like nine 9001 or if it's over 10,000 and that's a certain charge but if she keeps it below a certain threshold it'll you know what I mean well what's going on is this a state versus federal thing what why is 9000 a number when she knows that she has way more in that account but she's maxing at 9 there's some stuff going there I don't know if y'all know more than I know comment down below cuz I you know moving right along 
So now I'm understanding what's going on. Uncle Clifford owns the building. He took out a lien or a loan against the building and he got back on his, he uh, got, you know, he fell off on his uh, payments that he made, that he pulled out. So now I understand what, because I was like, it looks like he's making a monthly payment, but he's missing his monthly payments. He's missing his monthly payments on a loan that he took out against his property. So he owns the property. Gidget gets up there on the pole and it was poetic. She, she just, they just make it look so effortless. Like they look amazing on that pole. I need to get me a pole because I want to try. I actually took a class some years ago with a couple friends. It was me, Rhonda, and a couple other people. Anyway, that was, um, I don't even know where we went, but we went to a pole dancing class. And when I took you that was like some of the most fun I had ever had it was amazing moving right along so Clifford said the same thing in this episode that I was saying to y'all last episode why does it even matter that he had pics of you girl it's not like he was on you so Clifford like listen he got pics of me too pay attention he was not stalking you he has pics of everybody that was moving and shaking in the club because he's here to do a job those pics were taken before he knew knew who you were he wasn't like you know on some creeper mode type stuff so get your head back in the game get out of get your head out of being so full of yourself the man was not stalking you he was doing his job and so they go to the meeting and um mayor ruffin is sitting up there you know the godfather i kept calling him the uncle listen y'all know what i'm talking about i'm doing a lot this is back to back to back i don't know if y'all understand how hard this is to film edit cut chop screw mix do this and do that then upload and reload and descript and this is a lot of work but um so mine you know blame it on my head and on my heart uh i was calling him curtis his name is clifford i was calling the mayor mayor ruffin i was calling him the governor y'all know who it is y'all know what's going on but anyway mayor ruffin says he's going to expedite <laughs> the seizure of clifford uncle clifford's property i said e so i saw what andre tried to do in a meeting andre tried to make right because he does have a thing for autumn so he tried to get it to where his the guy his employer would cut uncle uncle clifford a check and maybe not be so nasty and just take his property but uh his his god daddy was like no no sir no we ain't gonna do that we all snatch as a matter of fact we're gonna snatch it faster than what we would have because we need to get this we you know they need to get this day to show on the road so uncle ruffin uh, uh what's his name uh god daddy ruffin is is a whole mess but here we are so sister patrice is saying sister patrice has a, a beautiful voice she's up there singing and then all of a sudden she got up there just like i said last episode there was some patriarchy going on and i knew the mindset even though they weren't gonna come out and say the words but he said it this time so the pastor said look Pulpit ain't got no room for no woman up here to lead anything. It's not going to happen. Patrice got that mic and she got to singing and hooping and hollering. And she said, what God got for me can't no man take away from me. And when she said no man, she meant exactly that word, man. No man, meaning you. You, pastor, can't take it from me. So she got the pseudo Holy Ghost. Got down there, got to dancing and hopping. He grabbed her by her wrist and said, let's go. Grabbed her right by the hand, let's go. Pulled into the back and told her, this is my church. No, you have no place up there in the pulpit. And it is what it is. So that's when my little note came in where I put down my prediction. And I predicted at that moment, the way she looked at him, I said, oh, Patrice is going to take that money and start her own church. I'll be damned if that ain't exactly what she did. So she just took her daughter's money and did what she wanted to do with it. Like, that's crazy to me. So, but not so much because she seems like that type of mother anyway. Meanwhile, her daughter is over here getting these amazing gifts. She got the little necklace from her married uh, manager, uh, NFL manager boyfriend slash regular. I thought it was a really cute necklace. But then I saw that she turned around and gave it to, what's his name? I forgot his name. Lo, Lo, Joe, Ho, y'all know. She gave it to old boy in there that was counting the money that's always in the office with Uncle Clifford. And I was like, why would she give it away? So then that just it clicked to me. Hold on. This is all about selling the fantasy. These girls ain't really into these guys. She's doing what she has to do to get out of him what she needs to get out of him, apparently. Because she could have took that little brooch or that little uh, necklace and sold it. She just gave it away. Like, it didn't even mean anything to her. So I was like, okay, so this is where we at. In my mind, she's gonna, she should talk to him and get him to bail Uncle Clifford out because he really seems like out of everybody that's in and out of that club, he's the only one that is in a position to go ahead and handle that real quick, 
knock it out. Fifty five thousand is not a lot of money. He could slide that off and keep moving. But I don't I don't know if that's the direction this is gonna go. But I feel like that is the direction that it could go. She could just get him to do it. But now she's locked up with her mama, so she's got bigger fish to fish to fry. She needs to get out of jail. That's the that's the main objective at this point. So Autumn was walking up to the uh up to the club. And Mercedes was like, look at her walking like she, like she got 10 stacks on her. I was thinking to myself, well, I mean, she could be walking like she got 10, but really, bitch, she got 27. So you need to sit down, be quiet. But, uh, you know, Mercedes has been looking at Autumn with the side eye the whole time. So she knows there's something about her that she's not feeling. She just don't know what it is. But anyway, while you worried about uh, Autumn walking around like she got 10 stacks on her, you better be worried about how your mama is taking your 20 stacks and not just taking your 20 stacks taking your 20 stacks and taking your building therefore thwarting your dream like her mother is i don't know patrice is just and i don't even want to say it but i'm gonna say it i'm gonna just say it because i'm messy this is why i have to be real careful about following those women in the pulpit you gotta be careful about following those men too but it's just different when you see a woman just the way she's carrying herself mm -mm, can't be no leader of mine i'm good then another one of my notes I wrote down here and I questioned it. I said, did Uncle Clifford have on assless pants? Is that what that was? Because I saw him with the little black when he came outside and told um, Lil Murder, told Diamond that Lil Murder and his, three, his two friends can go inside. When he turned around and walked in, I was like, Clifford looked good. I love that wig. But I was like, hold on, is his butt out? Show sure enough was. I like those pants. Uncle Clifford know how to dress. He knows how to walk. Uncle Clifford is cute. Cute, y'all. Cute. Like, so cute that Lil Murder wrote a whole song for him and then went in there. And at this point, it went from Lil Murder being the bottom. Because, you know, I told y'all, I fast forward, rewinded, slowed down, zoomed in, zoomed out, crap, turned. I did all of that. I saw what I saw. So, in this instance, Lil Murder was the top. And while Lil Murder was in there murdering, uh, uh, murdering Uncle Clifford, they had Mississippi out there murdering that stage. Mississippi got down. I thought that was the best performance. She she touched my heart when she made that comment. Like, you know, I'm not, I, all I really have is the club. She's talking Mercedes. I don't have dreams like you. All I have going for me is that I'm pretty. And I was like, that. that's a fact because she's absolutely gorgeous. But it's just like, I wish that there was more. I wish that she had more. And I'm sure she wishes that she had more too. So she gets up there on the stage and tore the house down. Like she's a star. She just got to get her self-esteem straight. Her mind is not right. And that's the problem with her. All that beauty, all that talent could be so much more. But it just showed in the beginning how that guy was talking crazy, how Freckles was all up in her ear talking crazy to her. That was indicative of how she lives her life. Because then you see at the end, they talk about the next episode, her little boyfriend was doing the same thing. like, And he treats her like that and she still sticks around and has multiple kids by this man. Crazy to me. Crazy to a lot of people. But this really reminds me of the whole Jocelyn situation with, um, who was the girl? Daisy. There was Daisy. There was uh, the one little one that was on a stroll that was out there and she was crying and she had just lost her mom. Her. It just, it, it, it was the other one that had the relationship with the old man, you know, with grandpa. He was like 70 something years old and she was 20. So Lucky. She reminds me of Lucky. And, and I just, mm, whew. Anyway. So Lil Murder gets his little behind kicked out the club. I'm like, how you get kicked out the club? You still sitting outside. Why don't you just go home? But okay, he got kicked out. Him and Uncle Curtis, they went in the office, had their little moment. And I think Uncle Curtis is going to have to get him right. Because Lil Murder is not able to live in his truth. Obviously, we see no one can stop Uncle Curtis from living in his truth. But Uncle Curtis is also a lot older than Lil Murder. So... It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out because Lil Murder has to keep this certain image out in the streets. But everybody seems to know around town that he is not into women. And it's like, oh, Lord, Lord forbid he, he don't like girls. He wants a boy. Now he's bad. Like, anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. But... I will just say this episode, it was crazy because the things that I predicted wound up coming out at the end. I was thinking they were going to hold it till next episode, but I can't wait to see what happened next time because Mercedes and her mom was outside. Mom got her ass whooped as she should have. I'm proud of Mercedes. I'm not saying you should be beating on your parents, but I'm saying that parent deserved to be beat on. It just is what it is. Y'all comment down below what y'all think, and we're going to do this again next week. I'm all caught up so now I can take these raggedy rollers about my hair, and we're going to do this again, y'all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the blue button for notifications. 
notifications, thumbs me up, comment with a unicorn down below if you made it to the end, and I appreciate you all for the support. Thank you so much. All right, I'm out.